This is Clockwork Knight for the Sega Saturn. There's a girl you're interested in, and she gets kidnapped, of course, and you have to rescue her. So in the game, you're going around a house, taking out the enemy toys. A lot of times you're walking on the shelves in the kid's room, but you also end up in the kitchen and the attic. This game is very similar to Toy Commander on the Dreamcast. In that game, you're also fighting toys around the house, and you do end up in the attic and in the kitchen. In the bottom left, there's some gears, which represent your energy gauge. You'll come across many items that refill this gauge. The graphics in Clockwork Knight are big, bright, and beautiful. It makes excellent use of the 3D capabilities of the Saturn. The cutscenes were done well for the time, although I can't stand that song. As far as the rest of the music in the game, it's nothing too memorable. There's some people on the internet who claim that this game is unfinished, a casualty of the rushed launch of the Sega Saturn in North America. I'm unable to confirm whether it's unfinished or not though. When I played it, I didn't see anything obvious, but I did notice a lot of things that could have been improved. When your character walks, he slides a little bit, especially when he's landing from a jump. This becomes a huge issue in the later stages that demand precision jumping. When you get to the kitchen, he slides a lot. I guess the counters are supposed to be slippery. The game doesn't have any checkpoints within each stage, so when you die, you end up going back quite far. Luckily, there are plenty of one-ups laying around. The main character's name is Pepper Rocher. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. He comes across as a little creepy. A stark contrast with some of Sega's other characters of the past. I will say that the gameplay is very solid. Smacking the enemies and throwing them is very satisfying. And I like how they explode. The stages are fun to explore. Because there's a lot of secret areas. And the game rewards you for finding them. The stages have a lot of things to collect, including these bottle caps. Every 10 of them that you collect, you get a continue. Or at the end of each stage, you can try gambling with them. The bosses are very memorable as well. I really liked battling the giant transformer guy. So what's the verdict? This was my first time playing this game, and I really enjoyed it. The colorful graphics and smart stage design won me over. I did lose my patience in the later stages that required the precision jumping, and I did not enjoy re-walking from the beginning of the stage again every time I died. If you own a Sega Saturn, I strongly recommend this game. This rating is a measurement of how fun it is to play this game today, compared to all other games. Basically, this game is more fun than most games out there. See the description for more details. Yeah.